Yeah, yeah, say I drop a metal ball, and in one unit of time, it falls through a distance of one unit. How many units of distance will it fall through in 10 units of time? About 10 units, maybe more. Uniform acceleration motion refers to motion in which the velocity changes at a constant rate. Actually, it's very easy to produce uniform acceleration motion. You just have to toss a ball of sufficient weight into the air. At this kind of speed, the effect of air resistance on the ball is negligible. So the gravitational pull is going to ensure that the ball is always accelerating downward at a constant rate of 9.81 meter per second square. Let's just focus on the orange ball here. On the way up, the direction of acceleration is opposite to the direction of velocity, so it slows down. On the way down, the direction of acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity, so it speeds up. Now, starting from the highest position of the ball, when the ball is instantaneously at rest, we are going to draw lines at equal time intervals to indicate the position of the ball at equal time intervals. Let's now analyze the spacing between the lines more closely. Let's call this distance here 1 unit. What does this distance look like to you? Let's bring in a ruler. So this is 1 unit and this is going to be 3 units and this is 5 units and this will be 7, this will be 9 and this is 11. So you see the number goes up at a constant rate. And this makes sense because acceleration is constant. So the velocity of the ball is increasing at a constant rate. So the distance traveled in each interval of time also goes up at a constant rate. Now what about the total distance traveled? So in the first unit of time, it travels a distance of one unit. After two units of time, it travels four units of distance. After 3 units of time, 9. After 4 units, 16. After 5 units, 25. And after 6 units, 36. So you see the total distance traveled follows a square function. I get it. In 10 units of time, the ball will reach 10 times the speed, but it will travel 100 times the distance.